Hello YouTube! I'm here with a review of the Tacstar SGC598 shotgun microphone. I got this microphone after shooting the initial YouTube video of the unboxing of 100 DVDs for $40 because I noticed there were some serious audio quality issues on there. Uh, after reading a bunch of reviews and checking out some other YouTube videos, I found that people really liked this mic and that it was producing sound similar to what a Rode uh, shotgun microphone was producing. I don't really know how they got quite to that comparison of it, but there are uh, multiple things that affect audio quality. So there's the distance from the speaker that the microphone is placed, there's the overall ambience of the room, the sound, there's the microphone itself, and then there's the preamp that the microphone is plugged into. Uh, with, the, with a shotgun microphone like this, you can only really adjust the microphone itself, right? It's not going to make any changes to the preamp or anything else that you happen to be using or the room. And you can't really control the position of the microphone other than by changing the position of the camera, which isn't always an option. So I've since gone ahead and changed to a lapel microphone, which you can see under my beard here. This obviously will, helps to reduce that distance that we were running into with the Tacstar microphone. Uh, overall, I did like this microphone. It did, it did give me a slight upgrade, but it didn't solve all of the audio issues. So I wouldn't expect to get that out of this microphone. If you buy this microphone expecting all of a sudden your audio is going to be amazing sounding, it's not. There's a lot of other things that affect the sound. But this does sound good, good uh, and it does look cool on top of the camera. So it does make things look like more professional and a lot cooler. Um, and it's only 25 bucks. That's a, probably you know a really good selling point there 25 bucks for a shotgun microphone that does give you a little bit better sound pretty simple buy there um, one of the things that I don't didn't like about it is that there's no way to power it off of the camera so you constantly have to turn it on and off on the side here um, I would have liked a way that it could just be powered by like a phantom power or something that I can get right off the camera but other than that, it's a pretty good microphone. Just don't expect it to solve all of your audio problems because it won't. So, but we will be having more videos in the future on how to address some of those audio problems, both microphone placement as well as acoustic treatment of the room that you are recording in. So, if you like this video, you know what to do. Click subscribe, hit the like button, leave a comment. Let me know what you think, and there will be more great content coming out to you soon.